out. Freddie Riedenschneider went back to Sacramento, still shaking his head, saying it was the biggest disappointment of his professional career. Frankie fell to pieces. I suspect he was drinking. Anyway, he stopped coming into work. That left me to keep the place going, or the bank would have taken it. I was the principal barber now. I hired a new man for the second chair. I'd hired the guy who did the least gabbing when he came in for an interview. But I guess the new man had only kept quiet because he was nervous. Once he had the job, he talked from the minute I opened the shop in the morning until I locked up at night. For all I know, he talked to himself on the way home. When I walked home, it seemed like everyone avoided looking at me as if I'd caught some disease. This thing with Doris, nobody wanted to talk about it. It was like I was a ghost walking down the street. And when I got home now, the place felt empty. set in the house, but there was nobody there. I was a ghost. I didn't see anyone. No one saw me. I was the barber. <laughs>